guys, welcome to another video. Joe SPN here, and today I am taking you through a very fun experience because for the very first time I'm really going to do a test drive. I'm test driving this uh, Toyota CHR today because, well, for my work I'm allowed to get a new car, you know. But, uh, you know, why you know? Why you know? Why you don't know? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to share the experience with you guys and I also wanted to document what I like the most about the car. So this way I can remember and can compare uh, both cars that I'm test driving today because the next one you guys will see in a bit. Let's start by seeing how spacious this car really is, man. I like the fact that I have a lot of room here. She also has a lot of freaking room here. She can just yeah, extend her legs. Like lying down. Exactly, and on the back, you have also a lot of room, you know, uh, to, to sit comfortably, man. So that's one of the things that I like about the car. Next to that, seat heaters. Did you guys just see that? Seat freaking heaters, man. Oh, <laughs> my ass ain't gonna be freezing during the winter time no more, okay? <laughs> Navigation system over there not really too happy about that, but I mean I don't really care that much It also has freaking freaking a freaking good sound Hear that bass <laughs> Okay, enough 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 the display is not really that responsive, okay? That's one thing I dislike about it. It's not really that responsive. It's not the quickest so I don't like that that much. I don't really like slow things, so I like, uh, you know, the, my, my uh, technical stuff and uh, technology to be pretty fast, because otherwise I get freaking annoyed. Did you see this? What, what, what? It turns on. No oh, way! Oh we God. have the freaking aesthetic netty lighting over there. <laughs> <laughs> so I am definitely, no, I am definitely gonna be getting this. It is freaking awesome. I really want to know what it does, but I don't know what it does. I don't know what it does either, but uh, it does have cruise control and it also has like the limiter, which I like at all. It is also a hybrid car. I like the design, the interior design. This is the red color, freaking awesome. It's like a red burgundy color, which is my favorite freaking color. So uh, I like that a lot. It does feel a bit like slow when it takes off because, well, it takes off with the electric motor. So I guessing that's why it takes off uh, not as fast, you know? But uh, I do like it, it's very comfortable to sit in. I do drive a lot for my work, so that is one plus point, you know, that it does sit very comfortably and uh, allows me to relax, you know, because I often need to drive for an hour or, or even a bit more than an hour. Okay, what more can I say? It has a lot of room over there, so where I can put my uh, elbow comfortably spacious over there so I like this one a lot guys and uh, I'm pretty happy with it it does drive very smooth and uh, I think it would be a nice choice so uh, the next uh, car that we're going to be test driving you guys are gonna see up next guys I have to show you this it's unlocked all right and see this no freaking way no freaking way! It's not like what you just saw. It's what makes it different, okay? It's the little things that matter. <laughs> Alright! So, this is the Lexus CT200H. 200? 200? 2000? <laughs> One of the two, okay? I think it's 200. I think it's 200 too. But, uh,. Okay, first impression, it is nice. I mean, it's a Lexus, you know? You, you feel chic, you know, <laughs> driving a Lexus, man. And to be honest, we were pretty, pretty damn impressed with the fact that as soon as we got into the car and we were going to adjust the seats, everything was electric. Everything, oh, that was so freaking cool. Really, really blew our mind. 
<laughs> that was so freaking awesome, man. So that was the first thing. The second thing that I didn't like uh, a lot that I noticed was uh, the, the steering wheel. It was a bit a bit hard compared to the, the, the CHR. It was a, uh, a bit harder, you know, to turn. As soon as I took it out of the parking lot, it was a bit uh, a bit hard. But not that much, but I mean, I did notice it. And next to that, this thing does go fast. Yeah. That I like a lot, okay? It does really go fast, okay? So uh, it, it's exciting to ride. The CHR was a bit slower, especially when taking off. So uh, this one did take off immediately, very fast, and you also can hear it. So it's a bit, uh, it's a bit nicer, I mean, in my opinion. Next to that, the inside of the car, right here. Looks nice. I mean, uh, mm, I was a bit skeptical about this uh, mouse system over here. They have like a mouse system over here, and that with that you control the navigation system, okay? So I was a bit skeptical about that, but in general, it didn't bother me that much. It is very responsive, a lot more responsive than the CHR. So, uh, I mean, it didn't bother me. It wasn't that bad. It was, it was still nice. also has the back uh, camera so that's nice it is really also spacious on the inside and uh, this is the F Sport mode so it goes fast and also has leather seats so that's also very nice and uh, yeah what, what more can I say what do you think of it um I don't know I don't know what I think of it <laughs> I don't know it looks nice but to be honest I I kind of like the CHR a bit more. This one is lower as well. Yeah, this one is a lot. Yeah, this one is lower, so like a regular, like a regular car. But uh, I don't know. To be honest, I, I felt like the CHR was a bit more comfortable to, to ride, uh, effortless. Look at this. I need to put my hand all the way over here. It doesn't feel that nice. But uh, the CHR was like perfect, and then uh, it was nice, relaxed, smooth driving. The steering wheel was very nice, smooth, and uh, this one feels a bit more sturdy. Like you, you really feel like you're mm -hmm. on the road, and you feel the, the road a lot more. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. in general, it's not bad. It does feels nice to drive Lexus, mm -hmm. but uh, hmm, I'm not fully convinced to be honest. It doesn't let you drive while you're drunk because it starts beeping if you go over the line. Yes, that also <laughs> it beeps and it goes over the line, has cruise control and it automatically detects when you're in front of a car so it slows down so you basically don't need to do anything because it does all the work for you. So uh, I don't know, it's gonna be a pretty interesting choice but I'm gonna compare both of the footages right over here, the cars and see which one I like the most and uh, what I like the most about both of them. Then I'll Do you think it would be different if we drove this one first? Maybe. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe because that one was the initial difference, yeah. so we got hype, and now this one is but disappointing. It's comfortable. And, yeah. Oh, and this one has a thing for your lower back, yeah, right? Yeah, also. That was think, nice. Yeah, that's very, very nice. These these chairs are bougie. <laughs> is that all? Yeah, that's all. That's all. All right, guys, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that little vlog that I made of me test driving both cars. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the cars and which one I should go for, okay? Help me out here. Should I go for the Toyota CHR or the Lexus CP200? 200, yeah, 200 it is. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think I should go for. And to be honest, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I already made my mind and I already made my choice. But it doesn't matter, let me know if I made the right choice down below, okay? But as always, guys, don't forget that I'm a certified personal trainer. So if you guys are looking for an online personal trainer, workout routine, or a meal plan, then hit me up on embeddedbodies.com, all right? But with that being said, guys, I'm gonna finish off this video right here. So if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to leave a like on this video and let me know what you think in the comments down below, all right? So, guess I'll see you soon. Later, guys.